Welcome to Movie Reviews for Parents. Today we're reviewing Oppenheimer. Our goal is to provide you with enough insight to help you make an informed decision on whether your kids should watch this movie. Oppenheimer is a historical biopic that revolves around the brilliant physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer and his involvement in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. The film delves into the complexities of Oppenheimer's character, focusing on both his scientific brilliance and the moral dilemmas associated with developing such a devastating weapon. Written and directed by Christopher Nolan, with additional writing credits to Kai Bird and Martin Sherwin. Starring Cillian Murphy, Emily Blunt, Matt Damon, and Robert Downey Jr. With a running time of three hours, Christopher Nolan's signature directing style shines through, providing an impressive and thought-provoking cinematic experience. He skillfully weaves together a narrative that spans multiple decades, capturing Oppenheimer's early years in Cambridge, his leadership of the Manhattan Project, and beyond. He has filmed certain sections in IMAX black and white, which adds a distinct and immersive quality to the movie, emphasizing specific moments and emotions. Nolan's commitment to minimal CGI continues to be evident, creating a sense of authenticity and grounding the film's historical context. Cillian Murphy's portrayal of J. Robert Oppenheimer is a tour de force, capturing the scientist's intelligence, charisma, and inner turmoil with great skill. The supporting cast delivers excellent performances, with standout roles from Florence Pugh as Jean Tatlock, Emily Blunt as Kitty Oppenheimer, Matt Damon as Leslie Groves, and Robert Downey Jr. as Louis Strauss. Each actor brings depth and authenticity to their respective characters, enhancing the film's emotional impact. At this point, we would like to ask you to please smash the like button, subscribe and tickle the notification bell. Your support is much appreciated. Continuing on. As a parent of young children, there are several key points to consider before deciding if this movie is appropriate for your family. The violence level is moderate. The creation of nuclear weapons is a significant part of the film. A character has terrifying visions of a nuclear holocaust, complete with burned bodies and radiation sickness. Someone attempts suicide by drowning. There are frequent mentions of bombing raids and associated deaths and injuries. As for adult content, there are two sex scenes that include visible breasts and posterior. Breasts are also visible in non-sexual contexts. While the nudity is relatively brief, it is not suitable for younger kids. As for profanity, the movie includes nine sexual expletives, four scatological curses, and infrequent terms of deity. As for drugs and alcohol, alcohol is consumed in social situations and in an addictive context. Alcoholism is a recurring issue in the film. Characters frequently smoke cigarettes, as is historically accurate for the time period. To conclude, Oppenheimer is a captivating historical biopic with excellent performances and Christopher Nolan's masterful direction. Given the sexual content, nudity, smoking, drinking, and some profanity, Oppenheimer is not appropriate for younger children. Parents of teenagers should review the movie's content and decide if it aligns with their family's values and their children's maturity level. For younger children, it's advisable to wait until they are older than 16 years of age before considering this film. This concludes our review of Oppenheimer for parents. I hope we were able to answer some of your questions. Feel free to rewind the video in case you missed anything. Please join us again for future reviews. Please subscribe and thumb up. Thank you.